Hi, it's Kyle from Bitewing Games, and today we're learning how to play River Valley Glassworks, designed by Ben Pinchback, Adam Hill, and Matt Riddle, with art by Andrew Bosley and published by Allplay. In River Valley Glassworks, you are collecting glass from the river, adding that glass to your glassworks. To collect glass, you will spend glass from your satchel, placing it on the river, and collecting glass from adjacent river spaces. At the end of the game, you'll score points for both rows and columns of glass. So place your pieces wisely to form the best glassworks. Let's take a look at the setup. Place the colored glass pieces in the draw bag. If playing with five players, add the black glass pieces to the bag. Place the lake in the center of the table and place the six river pieces out in a random order. Each river tile will show either one or two rocks. Place one glass piece onto the tiles with one rock and two glass pieces onto the tiles with two rocks, taking the glass pieces randomly from the bag. Place five glass pieces onto the lake. Each player takes a glassworks board, a satchel, and an inventory marker. Place your inventory marker on the zero space of your tracker. Each player draws three glass pieces from the bag, adding them to their satchel. The player who most recently saw a river takes the first player token. And we're ready to play. Starting with the start player and going clockwise, players will take turns either gathering and placing glass, or drawing glass from the lake. To place and gather, take a glass piece from your satchel and place it onto the river tile that shows the matching shape. Colors don't matter for now. You will now collect all the glass pieces from an adjacent river tile. So if you wanted to collect these pieces, you would either need to place a circle here or a triangle here. But what if you don't have either of those pieces, but you really want those tiles? Are you just stuck? <laughs> no, you are not. You can place two pieces of the same shape onto any riverbed as a wild of sorts. Again, collect all the glass pieces on an adjacent river tile, move the empty river tile to the back of the river, and shift the river tiles forward. Check how many stones are on the next river tile, and place that many glass pieces onto the empty river tile. Anytime you take pieces from the river, you will add those to your glassworks. And adding them to your glassworks, you're now focused on colors. Shape doesn't matter. If the glass is a new color, place it in a new column on the lowest leftmost space. If it's a color you already have, place it in the lowest space of that column. If a piece doesn't fit, either because the column is full or because you already have seven colors, add that piece to your overflow which will score you negative points at the end of the game. And if you have multiple pieces to place, you can choose the order to place them. After placing pieces, move your inventory marker up, keeping track of how many glass pieces you have placed. Glass pieces in your overflow do not count towards your total number. The board shows the relative rarity for each color of glass, so you'll want to be strategic about which pieces you place in which columns. The second action you can take is to draw glass from the lake. Choose four pieces from the lake and add them to your satchel. Your satchel can only hold five pieces of glass. If you take the action, you do have to draw four pieces of glass. And if you end up with more than five in your satchel, choose which pieces to place into your overflow, which again will score you negative three points at the end of the game. Refill the lake with four new pieces. As a helpful reminder, any time you take glass from the river, you'll be adding that to your glassworks. Any time you take glass from the lake, that will go to your satchel. Throughout the game, you'll be keeping track of your inventory. Once a player reaches or exceeds 17, the game end is triggered. Each player with fewer than three glass pieces in their satchel will draw from the bag until they have three pieces. Finish the current round going back to the start player, and then each player gets one additional turn. All right, on to final scoring. First, score each row. Rows score for each filled space from left to right without any gaps. This row will score 22 points. This row will score 11. This row scores two. And these two rows score zero points. Next, score your two tallest columns. If there are ties, the leftmost column scores. So in this case, you score 10 points for your tallest column. The next tallest columns are tied, so you score the leftmost column, scoring an additional 16 points. Finally, lose three points for each piece in your overflow. Total your points, and the player with the most points wins. 
And now you know how to play River Valley Glassworks. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.